What's up guys? Hope you're doing well. In today's video we are going to talk about Yuffie Smart Locks. Everything you need to know about Yuffie Smart Locks. Yuffie Smart Lock Touch is a fast and effective lock with fingerprint, keyboard, app and controls for the smart home. However, it is large and has a bit of an industrial feel to it. Yuffie Smart Lock Touch and Wi-Fi is one of the many new smart locks that you can open using just your fingerprint. This allows you to open your front door with a touch, an app, a key code, or even, believe it or not, a key. During the Yuffie Smart Lock Touch review, we found it to be a good option for those who want a lock that can be opened in multiple ways. However, among the best smart locks, their size can be a limiting factor for many. Design The Yuffie Smart Lock Touch and Wi-Fi is not a small device. It comes in two large parts that fit on each side of the door. The exterior includes the fingerprint reader, keypad, and lock barrel, which is approximately 6 inches tall, 2.5 inches wide, and 1 inch thick. The interior, which houses the large rechargeable batteries, motor, and manual folding mechanism, is even larger at just under 8 inches tall. The unit we tested was black in color, with an attractive matte finish that looked good on a painted wooden door, but you can also get a nickel or silver finish. That dimension makes it quite dominate the door. We've seen a recent trend of smaller, more discreet smart locks like the Level Lock Touch Edition and Quick Set Touch that don't grab attention like the Yuffie Smart Lock Touch and Wi-Fi does. Installation Like most smart locks, Smart Lock Touch requires a somewhat complicated installation process but is broken down into simple steps. First of all, you need to check if the lock fits your door. It is designed to replace a standard deadbolt lock on a 1 and 3 8 to 2 and 1 8 inch thick door with a 2 or 2 and 3 quarters inch setback. The distance between the edge of the door and the center of the hole where the lock fits. The distance between the edge of the door and the center of the hole where the lock fits. This means it should work on most doors and replace a deadbolt lock, but it won't work on mortise or lever handle locks. Once the old lock is removed, install the deadbolt mechanism on the inside of the door and hook on the outside of the lock. Then, secure the back plate to the inside of the door and use a couple of long screws to hold the two together. Then a cable connects the inside and outside of the lock, then connects the inside to the back plate with a few more screws. It involves quite a few steps, but it doesn't require any special tools aside from a screwdriver and the ability to know which end to use. These steps are also clearly indicated by the numbered parts boxes. The shutter mechanism is step 1, the strike plate is step 2, etc. Once the lock is installed, you use the Eufy security app to connect to the lock via Bluetooth and then to your Wi-Fi network. Again, the process is quite simple if you follow the steps carefully. The Eufy security app guides you through the process and offers support. The process of adding fingerprints is also quite simple but takes some time. Each fingerprint must be scanned into the fingerprint reader 8 times to ensure it is scanned correctly, each time at a slightly different angle or position. Performance I found UV Smart Lock Touch and Wi-Fi reliable in use, taking fingerprints without any problems and rejecting others that have not been registered. It can register up to 50 fingerprints and 100 individual codes, which should be enough for any family. These can be assigned to up to 100 users, each of which can be revoked in the app or with limited rights, such as used only once or only at certain hours. When someone who is not authorized to open the lock tries the fingerprint reader, the lock does not respond. If they keep trying, the ring around the fingerprint reader turns red after 5 attempts. That discreet response can discourage a thief, but it can also discourage someone who doesn't realize they're using the wrong finger. Yuffie also recommends that each user have two fingers registered in case of scratches or smudges that could prevent them from being recognized. When a fingerprint is recognized, the ring around the fingerprint reader glows white and the door unlocks. This process is very fast. It takes about a second to recognize your finger and start opening the lock. It's a bit faster than other fingerprint locks I've tried. The keypad is also easy to use. Tap it and the keypad will light up. Ready to enter a code and unlock the door. 
If you are more paranoid, or have seen spy movies where someone discovers a code by looking at the fingerprints on the keyboard, you can also use an encryption code, where you can enter up to 12 random digits before or after your key code to make it more difficult to detect. Five physical keys are included with this lock, which is of an unusual type. Two locksmiths I contacted didn't recognize the type and said they couldn't produce a duplicate key, so getting more or replacing a lost key would be difficult at best. The lack of a key lock or a way to replace the cylinder makes this more of a problem. The lock comes with five keys, but if you lose a key and want to make sure the lost key is unusable, you need to replace the entire lock. This undermines the idea of being able to revoke passcodes or fingerprints. You can't revoke a physical key. Other locks, like the Quick Set Touch we reviewed recently, get around this by allowing you to rewrite the lock and change the key that unlocks it. Others allow you to replace the cylinder to which the key is tied, so that you can use a new key without replacing the entire lock. Not this. The cylinder is fixed inside the front of the lock. This block can also be controlled by Amazon Alexa or Google Assistant. Either way, Eufy includes the ability to unlock, lock, or check the status of the lock with your voice. However, there is no support for Apple HomeKit. I couldn't fully test the battery life of this smart lock, but I have no doubt that it will last a long time. The 10,000 mAh battery inside of the back of the battery is huge compared to most locks and double the size of a typical cell phone battery. I definitely found that a couple of weeks of moderate use didn't affect the battery, which still showed more than 90% battery capacity. To charge the battery, you remove it from the back of the lock and charge it with the included micro USB cable. No charger included, but you can use your computer's USB port or a phone's USB charger. Final Verdict Eufy Smart Lock Touch and Wi-Fi is an effective and well-designed smart lock. All the main features work well. The fingerprint reader, keyboard and keys worked as expected. Providing multiple ways to get into the house, battery life is also excellent. Yuffie claims one year of battery life between charges, and that wouldn't surprise me. However, the large and bulky design of this lock may not be attractive. While it looked cute on my front door, it looked pretty out of place when I tried it on my smaller apartment door. Like an industrial fixture in a home, it dominates the door both in front and behind and is pretty obvious to anyone passing by. It works fine though and the subscription-free app means you can control who is allowed into your home. Price and Availability Eufy Smart Lock Touch and Wi-Fi is now available for $219.99. It is available in black, nickel, or silver. Eufy also sells Eufy Security Smart Lock Touch for $169, but that model also requires you to buy a Wi-Fi bridge if you want to remotely control it. With that being said, it's time to end today's video. Press the like button and subscribe to our channel for more interesting stuff. Peace out!